and the IU and its 13 districts will be having a discussion on this topic. However, Dr. Galasso emphasized it's a regional versus county issue and cautioned there are many, many complications to the sports, extracurricular, extracurricular work activities, etc. But the conversation has been open. I think that's a positive move forward. It's a, parents are very impassioned about this. As a reminder, Dr. Galasso's last day is scheduled for September 15th, as a side note. Our next meeting is scheduled for Tuesday, September 15th at 7 p.m. at the IU location in Doylestown. Thank you, and I would note that uh, Dr. Galasso has been invited to our August meeting, so, um, you know, as a thank you from us to him for his service at the IU. Uh, we will move to the Personnel Committee, and that's Mr. Rigoma. Thank you. Uh, the Personnel Committee, the next Personnel Committee is scheduled to meet on August 3rd, 2015. Thank you. Uh, policy review, Mrs. Miller. We have not met, and our next meeting is scheduled for September 9th. Thank you. Uh, the Upper Bucks Technical School Committee, Mrs. Schmidt is not here tonight. Um, the Upper Bucks Technical School does not normally have board meetings in July. However, we did have a special board meeting this month uh, for the purpose of uh, dealing with some significant construction issues. As uh, you all know, we are in the process of renovating that school, um, I think for anyone who has not visited it, uh, you would be surprised at how wonderful it looks um, versus what it looked like before the renovation started. Obviously, there's still more to go. The hope is that it will still be finished by um, mid to late December. Um, these were issues, uh, change orders, that had to be dealt with in a timely fashion if we wanted to do them. So uh, I'm sure Mrs. Schmidt can report more when she uh, uh, is here in August. Uh, next, and the next meeting there at the Upper Bucks Vocational School is August 24th, uh, 2015, and it's 7.30. I would note that it is not in the normal boardroom. The normal boardroom is no longer normal. It's been torn apart. Um, probably in the business and industry section uh, uh, conference room, but you would have to stay tuned because I don't know either at this point. Um, next, we will move to technology. Mr. Thompson. We have not met since the last meeting. The next technology committee meeting is scheduled for September 14, 2015. Thank you. We'll move to Act 48. Uh, Mrs. Schmidt also still not here. And uh, that meeting is scheduled, the next meeting is scheduled for October 8, 2015. Ad hoc fundraising. Neither of the principals are here, so I believe we will skip that uh, tonight. Is there any unfinished business among board members? Um. Yes, this is not. Mr. Sarnese just pointed out that the Vote Tech meeting and our board meeting are on the same date. Cannot be. The Vote Tech meeting is a Thursday night. Well, that's what Mr. Sarnese said. So that date isn't yeah. right. Yes, the date isn't right. I think it's the 21st, is it? The 20th? I, I believe it's the 20th of August. But don't. Yes, it's listed in the future meetings as the 20th. That's what it should be. Thanks. Thank you for catching that. Um, any other unfinished business? New business. Okay, if not, announcements. The next regular school board meeting will schedule for Monday, August 24, 2015, at 7 p.m. in this room. Uh, PEA negotiations were held on June 29, 2015. There will be, or there was an executive session prior to the night's meeting for personnel matters, and there will be one following tonight's meeting as well for negotiations and personnel matters. At this point, comments from guests. Mrs. Herrick. Good evening, Diane Herring, Hilltown Township. Uh, in regards to Superintendent's personal report, as I came in late this evening, um, I have attended every school board meeting and looked at this document for the last four months. On August 10th, you will have an entire staff that is on the field for the marching band. Not one EDR has been approved. I wonder how one has an entire staff in charge of students that they don't actually officially have hired to do the job. Okay, next. A good question, thank you. We'll obviously have to research that. Okay. Um, and Mr. Cox, thank you very much for doing the district a service and the taxpayers a service tonight for your due diligence in pointing out 
that the viewpoint contract has an exclusionary date that ended on June 15th and probably had some sort of evergreen in it if it was not already revoked. Thank you. However, that raises a much bigger issue in light of the answer that was given. We have a very strict policy, and it's my understanding the board takes this seriously. You are the entity, and only entity, that authorizes contracts. In the answer you received tonight, you lost that. Because the district administration exercised you out of a contract by telling Viewpoint they were not renewing. Did they have your approval to do that? Thank you. Mr. Goff? Um, I just want to speak to, to one issue, uh, which is uh, the issue of the Viewpoint contract and, um, and the uh, Lincoln contract. Uh, while I have not um, reviewed the viewpoint contract on the issue um, of its termination, um, I don't know um, what uh, Dr. Scheid may or may not have communicated to, um, to viewpoint, but generally speaking, um, the, uh, the board's approval is required to change the status quo ante. Um, so I'll speak to Dr. Scheid and make sure that we're squared away with viewpoint vis-a-vis -vis, um, the new engagement uh, with Lincoln. But um, I don't think um, it's helpful um, to cast aspersions at what the administration may or may not have done with respect to um, the prior viewpoint contract. The only reason I brought it up, Dr. Shai, was not to put you on the spot or to suggest that you did anything wrong um, with respect to viewpoint, but just to make sure that the district isn't overextended or obligated under two separate contracts for the same or, or similar service. So I don't want to make it seem like I was criticizing anything the administration did. I just was trying to add my two cents. So. Um, with respect to Ms. Heron's brief comments at the end, it was not my point uh, to make issue uh, with the viewpoint contract, only to make sure that the district wasn't uh, paying for overlapping services. Any other comments or questions from guests? From the press? Not this meeting is adjourned. Thank you. <coughs>